something people don't tell you about when you quit your corporate job. Hey fam, and welcome to another episode of the Daily Wonderlust Wealth Show. Now, when you actually quit your corporate job, it is so exciting, it's so fun, you're ready to go drink a margarita on a Tuesday in the middle of the day, and guess what? No one's gonna be able to join you. <laughs> When you quit your job, you kind of get this rude awakening that now you have all of this free time in the world, which is phenomenal. However, no one else in your life does. So especially if you haven't already started to make those friendships outside of work or outside of people who are doing the W-2 job situation, most people are working Mondays through Thursdays at a minimum between the hours of seven or eight o'clock and 5 p.m. So it's fantastic that now you have all this extra time and now you have the ability to craft your schedule the way you want it, but most other people will not be able to join you on those adventures. <laughs> and so it's gonna be super critical for you to actually make other entrepreneurial friends or other friends who have more control over their day to day. So like when I actually look at my work schedule, I generally work similar hours. Well, not really super similar because I was waking up at 3.45 in the morning to go to work before. But overall, during the workday, I'm still working the same types of hours. But now I take off Wednesdays or I take off Thursdays just because I want to. I also don't take any calls before 9 a.m. That's just a hard no for me because I don't want to and I like to protect my mornings. I think I'm actually gonna start switching it to before midday. And that's the beautiful thing about entrepreneurship and being a business owner is you now have control over your time. But if you want to go use that time to go hang out with friends and do things, that's probably not going to be something you can do because most of your friends will not be able to do that unless you can now convince all of your friends to also quit their jobs, <laughs> then you're in a much better place. But so for example, I really loved working from Europe because in Europe, none of America was awake in the morning. Like literally I didn't start working until about one or 2 PM while I was over there just because of the time zone shift, which was so phenomenal for me because I love my mornings. I like to wake up early, make my breakfast. I like to go to the gym, take Key on a long hike. He is my dog. And so the fact that I can now plan my day around that, I also really love to be outside during daylight hours. I'm very much a sunshine baby. So especially if it is sunny out, I would much rather be able to choose and spend my day outside versus spending it inside like on the computer and stuff. Because one of the things that really frustrated me about working my corporate job is I had to commute to the office and be in this gray little box in my cubicle during the workday, even though it was like a stunning, beautiful day outside, you know? I was like, I just wanna be outside and I wanna take a long two hour walk today, which just wasn't possible when I was working my corporate job. But now, now that I am in control of my time, I have the flexibility to move things around and change things around, which is super nice. However, I know that those are not times where I can go hang out with like my old friends and stuff. I think we now have developed some entrepreneurial friends. So we're able to go hang out, maybe work at a coffee shop or go do something during the day. But at the beginning, that was a very jarring experience, right? Because I was like, wow, I have all of this time now, but no one can come join me. <laughs> like no one can actually come do anything with me. Cool. So just know that that is probably gonna be a transitional period. But instead of being upset about that, what that really is is an opportunity for you to plan out your day, your week, your month to really suit whatever you wanna do, right? Like now you get to choose. You're in control of what your day looks like, which is such a beautiful thing. Okay, I like to end every Wonderless Wealth episode with some daily gratitude because daily gratitude changes your attitude. And for today, I'm just so thankful for all of the entrepreneurial friends that I've made in this journey, especially over the past year. It's crazy. Like, I love all of my friends. Literally, I always say that I'm like a collector of humans because I feel like all of my friends are just unbelievably wonderful human beings. And I try to only surround myself with unbelievably wonderful human beings. But I've, I've been so lucky 
to add so many wonderful people to my like friendship circle, which is wonderful and so phenomenal. So I'm just thankful for that. And don't forget, life is way too short to choose clouds.